Well, it was a weird game. Stoppages, wrong shooters, all this kind of stuff. So it took forever uh, to play the game. But uh, you got to congratulate Virginia Tech. And they controlled the tempo, the style of the game, everything. I think you need to say you look at the rebound numbers. We've got to be pleased with the rebounding. But uh, uh, we've got to get a heck of a lot better on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, we knew they were going to shoot a lot of threes. They shoot 29, but we shoot 16, shoot 13 in the first half. And uh, if you look at the stat sheet in the first half, we shoot 13 threes, and we shoot zero free throws. And that's not the way a North Carolina team's supposed to play. That's the bottom line. Uh, Justin Jackson, I thought, was more active. He had his hand on a lot of balls that I think he could have come up with, but I think he was uh, he was more active. JP and Marcus both turned it over way, way too much, just like the rest of our team did. 17 turnovers is uh, not something good. But again, congratulate Virginia Tech's defense. They played in a frenzy and uh, uh, put us in positions to make turnovers, and we, we obliged and uh, made some turnovers. But uh, uh, bottom line is we got to win. Sometimes you got to win some ugly to have a really good year, and that was an ugly win. But uh, uh, I think Buzz and his club, uh, they were a man down without uh, uh, the kid that's a leading scorer in ACC play. That's a big time loss for them. So. Again, you got to congratulate them for the, what they did during the course of the game. You mentioned uh, Justin being more active. Is is that just a matter of him starting to get more comfortable now, or is that a concern of <laughs> you or somebody else telling him you got you got to be more aggressive? Well, I've told him he's got to be more aggressive, uh, but you know it's it's not just taking shots or looking for your shot. It's getting some rebounds too. But in the first half, again, I was disappointed with the. 13 threes and zero free throws. I, I'm sure it has happened, but I can't remember a team of mine ever go a whole half without shooting a free throw. Not that you should look it up. There's a lot more things you can do. Go home, get your glass of wine, see your wife, and be nice. It's his job anyway. If you don't, uh, have, don't drink like me, I'll have some lemonade. No, I'm going on road recruiting tonight. So. Pretty much every team in the ACC plays more slowly than you guys. So how, how challenging is it to force your own tempo, especially against a team like well, it is a challenge, but I mean, they're, they're good players too, and uh, I want to play, but we're not playing anywhere near as fast as I want us to play. So, I mean, uh, I think we're playing very average pace, and I'd like us to uh, play faster for sure, but uh, it is a challenge because the other teams well coached, uh, have good guards. I mean, uh, I was just looking for Devin's line. He was 0 for 3, but he really controlled the whole tempo of the game. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's frustrating at times, but I like for it to be. You know, 130 to 110, us. A tech shot just 35 percent from the field. Did your defense do certain things to make it a tough shooting night for them? Uh, you know, at times we were okay defensively. I don't think we were great by any means, but at times we were okay. Uh, uh, I decided not to say much to the team because you don't want to say something until you're sure. So I get to look at the tape first. Uh, you know, they shoot 35 percent, and you like that. And they're 34 percent from three, and they've been shooting over 40. So, uh, but. I think for us, uh, we're trying to get better each and every game and uh, trying to learn something. And we had an opportunity to learn some things today. There's no question. But I mean, they press it in. We turn it over three times in four possessions. Joel throws it out on the in out of bounds play. I mean, in bounds play, excuse me. Marcus turns it over. JP turns it over. Uh, you know, so all those kind of things sort of, I remember those as opposed to good defenses right now. I don't think we're a stupid team, but every team plays stupid sometimes. You know, I'd, I'd say it's probably that. You know, I mean, I ask them to take the shot that I wanted, not the shot that Buzz wanted. You know, it's a simple thing. They want you to take those threes for a reason. We don't make as many of them, and uh, we had a huge size advantage inside. Uh, we scored 34 points inside to their 18, and it should have been more than that. <coughs> You mentioned the turnovers. It's been a, 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 this happened a couple of times this season for you guys. Is that is that being flat or is that overpassing or you, what do you, what do you kind of you see was kind of off? <laughs> Same answer I gave you last time. I knew how to fix the blankety blank stuff. It would have already been fixed. It's uh, again, I don't think my team is stupid, but boy, we make some dumb plays. And uh, let's put it this way, guys. As I said. We're supposed to have practice off tomorrow. It says OFF. I told him I'd see him at nine o'clock tomorrow night. We're going to practice, so we're going to try to get better. And uh, but I mean, 17 turnovers are way too many, and the, uh, the choice of the passes that were made. You can't uh, make passes. The guy's two feet away from you. Can't throw bullets all the time. Sometimes you got to throw passes that other people can catch. Uh, I was very positive. My team. I told them, good job. Let's get the heck out of. It. That's it. 
Based on your statement about practice, I think I know the answer to this, but I was going to say with these next few games, you guys would probably be favorite in all of them. And I was wondering if this was the type of team that you had to motivate from within, or, or will they naturally be up for games that they're, you know? Yeah. Well, I don't know that we'd be favored. I wouldn't favor us over anybody the way we played tonight. So, you know, we got to go on the road our next game. But uh, in this league, there's 18 games, and you better be ready to play every night. And, uh, you know, it's been it's been difficult with that. Uh, you know, with Marcus's foot, for example, gets a hip pointer tonight, uh, trying to cut back practice for everybody. And that's my fault. We've tried to cut back practice to take care of our health. But uh, now I want to take care of my health mentally. <laughs> so that will be the concern during practice tomorrow night. You know, it's, bowl games aren't on. Last week, Monday night, I was watching a football game, but I ain't got nothing to do tomorrow night. Radio show, I'll get some food during the radio show. I can practice for a long time. So. Anybody else? <laughs> Deteriorated again. On that note. <laughs>